And welcome back to the Fantasy Zone. I'm Courtney Salmon. Jason Ernest. Kirk Vitto. And we are talking all things fantasy football. Before the break, Jason wanted to uh, tell everybody about his... My defense. My defense and proving to the world I didn't learn anything from last week. My bold prediction. I don't have a bias against the Patriots. But it isn't, I'm not buying it, okay? It's not the 2007 team. They're not as good as they were. The Dolphins are angry. I like their new coach. And Dominic Sue, in my opinion, the best defensive player in the NFL. I want him on my team. I want him in my foxhole. I love the guy. Everybody hates him. I love him. I hate him. <laughs> He's, I, I love the guy. He's dirty. Trap game? You calling it? Trap, Trap game? game? I'm calling don'ts the Dolphins defense. I'm calling the Dolphins beat the Patriots to shock the world. Tommy Terrific loses. Dolphins send a message. Um, there's going to be blood in the streets. Um, <laughs> Dolphins are going to hurt the Patriots. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with that because, I mean, if you look at the Patriots' schedule, the only really tough team that they beat was the Jets just last week. Yeah. And they were in a game. And it was a really, yeah. really Actually, tough game. The Jets were in that game. There was a cheap. I mean, they let up and let Gronk score that touchdown. You know, just parading down Main Street. <laughs> and that um, could just be, you know, a, a fairly new team who's gotten together. Yeah. No, the Dolphins are gonna are gonna punch them right in the mouth. They're gonna punch them right in the mouth. Oh. Tommy Terrific. I mean, there, there's gonna be repercussions after this game. Mark my words. And Dominic Sue may lose, may lose a couple. He might be suspended for what he does to that team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that's Getting not anything there. new for Dominic and Sue though, because you know. Suspended or fined? Both. Oh, here we go. Full right. prediction. I'm I'm calling things you don't see on their shows. I'm hey. I'm calling predictions of suspensions. Let's get out there, man. <laughs> Let's get out there. Let's roll the dice. Hey, <laughs> come on. Let's play fantasy football. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's a perfect segue into our next one, which is bold predictions. I think Jason just made a really really bold one. It's bold, but it's accurate. I'm I don't not, disagree with it. I'm going to look like the great Karnak. I mean, I, I, people are going to come to me for tips all the time after this pick. But, yeah, I'm right on that one. Don't pay your mortgage this month. Put it all in the Dolphins. You said that. Okay, don't do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> you said that last week. <laughs> what is the line on that game, by the way? I don't, I don't know. even know. We got some know. O's. We got some O's still playing. Uh, it, who's O false? Packers Broncos. Packers Broncos. Um, That's a tough one, man. That is a tough one. Me being a Packers fan, like, and a diehard Packers fan, I am scared about this yeah, game. Yeah, you know, it's such, it's such, it's so fake reverse psychology. <laughs> you know the Packers have a much better offense than the Broncos. Peyton Manning. Uh, looks like well, we got offense the, versus no offense. Uh, uh, I mean, against and, a, and yeah, a, got, a stellar defense against a. Better than average defense. Yeah, but you got the rules that are to the benefit of offense because the NFL thinks that the more points it means you can sell more tickets and sell more soap. So you can't play defense. You can only escort a receiver down the field. God forbid you, you even look sideways at a quarterback and get flagged for 15 yards. And it, yeah, in a Super Bowl or playoff situation, they let them play a little bit more. They, they play the game like it's supposed to be. But in a regular season, I think the, I don't want them to win. I want my team to win, but I think the Packers beat the Broncos because if Peyton Manning throws not one but two pick sixes. <laughs> so wow. two pick sixes now. Wow. Two okay. pick sixes now. All right. Are you going to call who it's for? No, that's, no. Not, that's oh. good enough. That's okay. good enough. Okay. So we've got some O's falling. You know what? Monday night's game. Cold the Spanish. undefeated versus the undeterred. I think Luck finds his game this week. I don't think he's had it yet. I think he finds his game. Uh, Courtney says not a chance. I got to tell you, the Panthers win, but they don't look good doing it. I, I was think they're say, a boring I mean, team. They were very sloppy in their win. Boring. Three interceptions last week for Colts. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. But yeah. I just, I just don't think the Colts are strong enough. The Colts just all around aren't strong enough right now. Well, their pass defense is awful. In my yeah. opinion. I mean, they got guys that, you know, were selling shoes at Foot Locker three <laughs> weeks ago <laughs> playing safety. You know, that makes it tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to look at my bold prediction here. Oh, that's a tough one. Call another O. What do we got? We got the we got we the a... Bengals against the Steelers. Oh well, I think I legitimately think that the Bengals are going to beat the Steelers. I do. It's just I just think it's going to be a very 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 hard fought game. Look, I don't like the Steelers. Okay? I don't either. But you know what? <laughs> it's one of those things where you can't deny what this team is. The Pittsburgh Steelers are just, they're that team, man. Antonio it, Brown, Le'Veon Bell, Ben yeah. Roethlisberger, he's back. Oh, that's right, he's back. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're, okay, they're, they're so maybe. Hills are defense. Oh, oh my gosh. That's it. Other yeah. than that, they're solid. And they've yeah. got some players. 
Ryan Shazier is going to be yeah, back. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence yeah. Timmons. Oh, oh boy. Paris is still playing. Um, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, single-handedly trounced and on the that, Cardinals in the Super Bowl. that stat that not a single running back has scored in, in Heinz Field this year, it's crazy. And somewhere in New Jersey, a woman burns her hand. Coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I, I, it, that's going to happen eventually. It's the NFL, but... I, well, of course it's going to happen. I but. mean, on paper, you know, actually that might be like a futures bet. I mean, the Pittsburgh Steelers might be the team where you could get like 12 or 15 to 1 Super Bowl odds. And if the stars align and yeah. health reasons come, they could they could shock. That team stays healthy. They could yeah. shock the world. It's not the best division. No. With the sole exception, obviously, of the Cincinnati Bengals that are right. currently undefeated. Right. So I do want to say this. On, on football related, I had I bet the Mets in the second week for the, for the World Series futures bet. And they're, they're the last game one in the series, but I have I'll, I have the ticket to prove it. That was crazy. Fourteen yeah. innings. Bold, wow. bold <laughs> riverboat type decisions over here on, on the right side. All right, so that's that's a hint <laughs> that Jason's right at least one percent of the time. All right, so well that was this edition of the Fantasy Zone. We'll see you here again next week, and we might come up with a few different segments for you, and uh, come back next week at the same time. What about a baking segment? <laughs> a baking segment. Good night. Good night.